I'm not going to deny it. I still am that today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the lady just before me talked about staying up at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning to do That's me. Yes. I just got fussed at that, about that the other day, but I'm, 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 I'm going to be delivered mm. when I get to my dream. Yes. So with all that anticipation, that pressure from my family, I achieved a lot of things, right? But it may not have always been the things that I wanted to, to achieve. But I feel good about it because mom was happy. Daddy was proud. Grandpa, grandma, they like, girl, you did it. You said in the legacy, you, you're doing the thing that we wanted you to do, right? But it was not until my graduate, uh, undergraduate um, degree when I was studying that I realized that I needed to take a turn, right? I need to reframe my thoughts as far as the goals that I wanted for myself and really think about what is it that I wanted to achieve? What is it that you want to do, Jatana? Not what is it that everyone else wanted you to do? What's gonna make you happy? So that's how I came about focusing on women like you. Before we get to that slide, take a snapshot. I know we usually share this at the end, but I want you to get this in the beginning and let me tell you why. <laughs> Who's on social media? That's everybody. That's what I like to say. Everybody. <laughs> so throughout this session, I want you to tweet, to Facebook, to whatever your platform is, your favorite. Any comments or any you know statements that may be an aha moment for you. And guess what? This is not just for you to love on me. I love to be loved. And so do you, right? But this is for you to refer back to post-conference because those are your notes too. We both win, right? right? I want to stay connected with you. So I hope you got that information. If not, we'll catch up on that after the conference. So I heard a lot about these reality shows today. I heard some, uh, I can't even call the names. But I'm not going to lie, I've watched it before too, right? And I'm sure most of you have seen one reality show or another. But here's the thing, in these reality shows, what they do is they misbehave. But the thing is, they act up. I'm sorry, they act out instead of acting up. And what I want you guys to do is reframe your actions because you're stuck. You're not doing anything, right? So when I say misbehave, I'm not saying miss with capital M-I-S, uh, lowercase M-I-S. I'm saying the capital M-I-S. And you're going to learn about what that means in just a moment. But if you understand the prefix miss, if it's applied before any word, it negates the meaning of that word, right? So tell me this. Raise your hand, and some of you may have to keep your hands up. But how many of you have felt misled, misguided, misunderstood, misaligned? And all of those things cause us to do what? Misbehave. You may not have labeled it that before, but that's what you're doing, right? So that's what these people are doing. They're acting out in order to gain the fame and the attention that they are desiring. Not to say that it's good, not to say that it's bad, but it's what works for you, right? So, but what I want you to do is again, we're going to show you how to act up in order to achieve your dreams, to move towards those goals and aspirations that you have. Answer these questions. In order, to, we talked about those that have been acting out, right, in reality shows, and that's probably the only part that's reality about the show. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me this, in your life, in order for you to play the leading role in your life, tell me this, do you want to play the leading role, first off? Okay, because we're playing, we're putting ourselves on the back burner by taking care of everyone else. It's time for us to step forward in order for us to achieve these goals. Do you feel like you cast people for roles that they don't deserve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? You are allowing people to take up space in your life. And guess what that's doing? Blocking those blessings. Blocking your progress. Imagine this line to be those people that I can't even cross over my goals right there. But she said, girl, you can't do that. You think you're good enough for that? They're not going to like you. They tell you anything to keep you from crossing over, to keep you from pushing the envelope. How many of you feel overwhelmed with all the roles that you have been cast for in your own life? 
go back to mom, wife, first lady, whatever it is you got going on in your life, right? How many of you feel ignored and passed over for auditions? That means those opportunities in life, you feel like they're passing you over. Maybe it's because you're not prepared. Maybe it's because you're paying too much attention to somebody else's dreams. You're helping so-and-so get to where they want to go. All the while, you sit still. And guess what? They went on and forgot about little old you. So, MIS, capital MIS, right? First thing you want to do is mentally declutter. And this is not limited to the mental space. This also includes your physical space. Clear your mental space. Do you know that we have more than 1,400 thoughts per second? If you are maintaining thoughts in your mind, expecting to remember every thought, you are doing yourself a disservice. You know why? Because your brain wasn't even created to function as such. So for you to think that you could remember and recall all these many things, your goals, your steps towards your goals. Okay, so I want to obtain another job, right? But you don't know the plan, you don't know the steps. But you say to yourself, I do know the steps. I know I need to go and find somebody to help me get a resume. I need to write the resume. I need to do this. But if you never write out that plan and get it off your mind and onto paper, it's just that. It's just a goal. You want to guard your entryways. Again, we talked about TV. Someone else spoke about the uh, TV being no, no longer having a TV in the house or whatever those things are. My thing is some people just don't know how to filter what they watch. So it's one thing to have that television, but if you don't know how to filter what you're watching, that's even worse. So you need to go out your eyes, go out your ears, because those things can contaminate your thoughts. Then you convert into a person that has all this negative self chatter. That's holding you back. That's keeping you in your own way. Say no and give from your overflow. Did y'all know that no was a complete sentence? <laughs> but what we like to say is, well, we say maybe when we really want to say no. Then we say no, but because I got to go pick up so-and-so and then I got to do this, you got to explain. You don't feel comfortable just saying no. Not going to be able to do it. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to be straightforward with it. And in order to give from your overflow, we talked about that a little bit earlier. What you have to do is pull from the inner you, right? Not only that, but you have to pour into you in order for you to be full in order to give from that overflow. So if you got a glass of an empty glass and we pour water into that, if the glass is half full and you steady pouring out, the water trying to pour in, you pouring out, you never getting enough for you to function and be at your best. So you need to allow those things that fill you up, right? That fuel you, that invigorate you to get, get inside you fully so that you can be better and at your best in life and to others that you do serve. Rid the unhealthy relationships. Those folks that are telling you that you can't do it, you ain't gonna do it, you never did it. Your mama ain't nothing, your daddy ain't nothing, so why you think you're going to be something? Get rid of those people that are talking that negative talking to your ears. I ignite your passion. Some folks have been saying that they don't really know exactly what it is that they want to do. How do I find out what it is that I want to do? What's important is, is that you find your passion. Find what it is that gets you up in the morning. What is it that keeps you up at night? What is it that makes me get that tingle in my spine? And I ain't talking about something else, okay? So y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is it that makes you feel like you are what was walking on water? My sister back there in the back. But in order for you to walk on water, you got to get out the boat. 
How many of y'all still in the boat? Some of y'all in the boat with somebody else expecting them to paddle so you can keep moving. Why, why, why we ain't? Because you ain't paddling. So here are some things in order for you to ignite your passion. Get clear. We talked about that earlier. Get very clear on what it is that you want out of life, and that'll tell you what you need to do now to get there. You see, everything that you've done before today is what got you where you are today. And I'm not saying that where you are today is not where you're, you're happy at, but if you want more, it's time to up-level. It's time to do something different. Live for you. We talked enough about that. We beat that into the, the ground, right? Do something for you. I don't care if it's popcorn and wine, watching a movie, just whatever it is. Live for you. Do what you love. Get an accountability partner. Somebody, not just old girl next door because she's been my neighbor for 20 years. <laughs> I'm talking about somebody who understands aspirations, achieving goals, and they support you and you likewise support them. That's an accountability partner. Show up. We at the last step. Show up. Uh, so tell me this, occupying this seat today, did you show up? Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. And you know Star mentioned earlier that there are a lot of seats empty, although there were some tickets sold. In order to win, you got to get in the game. Some people didn't get in the, in the game, but y'all did. Y'all are here. To move from empowerment to action and you showed up because that's exactly what you're determined to do that's a part of doing the work that's a part of doing the work what is it exactly that you want to achieve what are the steps to get there and let me take that step even if I'm fearful even if I don't know what's next because most of the time when you take that first step the next one appears if you trip and you stumble, you can do what? Get back up. But now you know, right there, it's a, it's a little hole right there. <laughs> so now you know, you fell forward. Be confident. A lot of us are challenged with confidence. That's what keeps us in the beginning from moving from empowerment to action. You can hear somebody like me talk to you all day long. You feel good. You feel motivated. But you ain't transformed because as soon as you walk out, you get right back to the same old you. That's not what we want from today. Be at peace with where you are right now. But be optimistic about your future. Know that you have greatness ahead because we all come from God and God is greatness. And how can nothing other than greatness come from God? Okay, so to wrap it up, miss, right? What is it again? Somebody tell me. What's the MIS? Miss your passion and show up. And understand that when you're mentally decluttering, recall that your physical clutter is a direct reflection of your mental clutter. So if your office, your kitchen, your living room, your car, you can't find nothing. You probably can't find nothing in your mind. Either. Just me. I'll drop that right there and keep moving. Today's actions, today's actions determine tomorrow's reality. I already said, right, that whatever thing that you did before today is what got you here today. So let's change what you're doing today to get you to a better place tomorrow. Up level, act up, show up. Whatever you want to call it, let's make some moves. Okay, so we are to the end, and I want to be able to at least acknowledge a couple of questions. But here is some information for you to get in contact with me. You can text right now, FAME, F-A-M-E, to 31996, and I have a free gift for you. It's five uh, life-changing habits for you to incorporate in your life immediately. FAME which I'll get to in just a moment, give you a second, a second, a second to get that. It's 31996, just text FAME. <coughs> Excuse me. Need a little drink here. And um, you will get your, thank you, Mama. And you will get your um, your free, free gift. So make sure you follow all the steps so that you can get 
so that I can get your email address, okay? Got it? Got it. Last thing. You wonder what fame. Why are you texting fame? It's not available. You said it's unavailable? It's locked. So it's okay. I have to get that for you guys. So did y'all take a picture of it? So I can make sure it's somebody got through? Okay. We'll check on that. Take a picture. Got it, got it, got it. Or get with me afterwards. FAME stands for, I got to say this, I'm guilty. I love acronyms. Helps me remember stuff, right? <laughs> Star said me too. Okay, so this is going to help you remember. FAME stands for Fearless and Massively Empowered. I have a group that I actually just started last week because I've been doing this for two years now, right? But I had this idea to create a group and a community of women who want to come together for the same cause to fight for the things that I've talked about. We want to work more towards our dreams. We want to be fearless. If you're aspiring to be fearless, you should become a part of the, the group. It's, a, a, it's on Facebook. All you have to do is search fearless and massively empowered. And we are looking for you to join. We're looking to commune with you and grow with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation. And well, I think we're good to go. I thank you guys for your time. And I hope you leave here in action more than empowered, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies.